Well, hello there. Hello there. This is Miss. <laughs> I like how this is going already. We're off to a self <laughs> <laughs> Great today. Can't wait. <laughs> Hi, you guys. It's Flower Child 567, and I'm here with uh, my cohorts. I, I feel like I can call you guys cohorts now because, uh, you know, it's we bad. do this together. There, there, that, uh, my back isn't to the camera. Hi! Um, and uh, I bet you don't even notice. I bet you, well, we'll even, we'll wait and get there when we get there. But uh, today is Wednesday, and it is called the Ebon Heart Pack Role Play Hour featuring the companions to to the left of the screen is Chauncey Lorenzo. To the right of the screen is yeah Malice Indoril. You got it. And in the center is moi, as silent as starlight. And uh, we are here in Deshaun, Of course, we're in Mournhold. Mournhold. Well, my friends, what do you think? Are you guys ready to begin this episode of our ongoing saga? I'm all ready if you guys are. Heck yeah, I'm always looking for some fun. Heck yeah, I'm ready too. So I think that at this point, uh, we'll, we'll just head off and do our thing. All right. Before we get started, actually, uh, yeah. Chansey, could you say something real quick? What would you like this one to say? What he would say, whatever you need to hear. Well, we're having really bad uh, uh, breakup issues up with both me and Chansey, uh, so I think we might have to restart the first party. Uh, let me hear you, um, Chauncey. Uh, this you. one is ready to restart if we need to do it. Yeah, there is a crackle. There is a crackle. All right, so, um, sorry, you guys. Give us one second. Sounds good. Yeah, we'll restart. Yeah, so, uh, don't go away. Just stay right here, and all I'm going to do is stop the, uh, I'm going to go back to our stream. Um, let's see. And redo the the uh, audio options. So give me just a sec. Okay, the party audio is off. And I'm going to turn it back on again. And it's turned on again. Alright, test, test. Let's see how it... Uh, I'm still a little crackly. Let's see. I could talk as well if we want to check and see if it fixed a uh, stretch at all. How's it sounding? Uh, it's still crackly. Both of us. Still crackly. Yeah. The flower's perfect, but the both of us are very crackly. I think we might have to restart the party uh, real fast. If you want to go ahead and uh, um, everybody leave the party and have Flower invite us again. Sounds good. Let's see you two on the other side. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, you're going to... What are you doing? Uh, you're you leaving... just need to... We just help me to leave this party and then we're starting now. Okay, that's fine. Right. Sorry for the technical difficulty going on right now. We're redoing our party chat because uh, everybody is coming in. Um, 
with a crackle. All right, test, test. All right, my audio is perfect. If you wouldn't mind, oh. Stretch, go ahead and do a test. Absolutely, this is a test. How do we sound? How's the crackling? Everything's perfect now. Sweet. All righty. Very nice. Thanks for that, Van Rick. No All problem. right. So here we are, and without further ado, we are going to get going. But before we get going, I'm going to show you our journal. A message to Mournhold. Varen asked our companions to travel to Mournhold and that they inform the Ordinators about the events at the Obsidian Gorge. And so they've had an evening of relaxation and rest and they're getting ready to look for Ordinator Kilalu in Mournhold and report to him or her and uh, they're at the flaming nix and they're going to go over here to the bear which is also the fighters guild so that will begin this episode <sighs> what are you two up to you've been sitting here drinking and laughing for hours i've been up to my room i've been out to the village huh. I didn't find a thing to buy to wear, so I'm wearing my same old stinky outfit, but did you save anything to drink for me? Ah, if you want, pull up a chair and order you something. This cat's been laughing at my face for hours now. It has well, been I... quite amusing to see you without your helmet on. I can see what is making that Lord dance like crazy on the fire. I uh... must admit... I... <laughs> You smell like flowers! Biko Gel, you smell like flowers! I always wow. smell fine. I never know what you're talking about. Uh, My armor's you, just fine. When you uh, are in that metal body of yours, you start to stink. Look at this woman that has the same outfit as me. How dare she? How dare she be in, they how dare she be in the original. same outfit? They said it was a one of a kind! A they liked the me! Tourists, but... oh, oh. <laughs> Anyways... <laughs> <laughs> That's not fair! Not fair at all! I will have to listen to the hist on this matter. I'm sure I will be guided. To let it flow, let it go, let it flow, let it go. For there is nothing important in the way we look, but in what we hold in our heart. Mm, it sounds like you have already been drinking. Perhaps I should put this away. I'm too <laughs> drunk to follow what you're saying. <laughs> oh, I'm talking about the flow. The flow, you know. Oh, I don't know. Bartender, keep the flow going. Come on. Mm -hmm. Next, Strippy. <sighs> the so flow Jamba. is... All around. He's in the flow. Look at this dude over here. He's in the flow. He's the one he I've been barely... watching. It is hilarious. Yeah. He really is in the flow. I mean, he just flows. See how he flows? That's the flow. Ha. Ah. This is the only way he could cure the athlete's foot he has on his feet. Oh, is that what he has? They are cold. Oh, yes, he's pretty calloused. Ah, uh, it's like a... He's got a whole thick layer of dead skin. It's like another soul on his foot. That's disgusting. Ah. All right. <coughs> well, I don't know where to sit. There's no room for... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know the secret to sitting here. If I... <laughs> the secret is to use your emotes. These chairs that we are on are... Uh, My emotes. Take a look. Oh, oh where is the chair? My... It just disappeared. Wow, what a trick I've got. 
Where are we going? Oh, we going another already? one. Another magician. Look at I. Uh, I can sit down and look in my chair. Huh. What do you think about my chair? I know so, how to get it. Oh, uh, got it. It's not going to be fancy, huh? Well, of course. You do yeah, what so you want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I don't sit in just anything. My tail has to have wiggle room. I swish my tail back and forth as it hangs free through the rungs of the back of the chair and the armholes. See? What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> well, all right. So, uh, oh, you know, I got that key. I finally got that key. I know that we have to take it somewhere. And, and we still have that note we have to take and deliver it. So I guess we're th I'm thinking to myself, got us a few missions that we got to finish up here. What do you think? Yeah, a lot of people so running nice. around us today. Oh no, right. it's a busy city. I suppose yeah. we should head on now. Uh, I hear right, there is yeah. a sale on doom and gloom, so everyone is rushing to it. Doom and gloom. That's yeah. pretty funny. Ha 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 White Lines, Istanbul, I, Findy. Didn't that sound like a little chant I was doing? It did. I suppose I should inform you, Silent, that uh, I am temporarily suspended from being a uh, an ordinator. And, what? And my clan is meeting to discuss my position. Uh, Say they're what? Reviewing, they're reviewing our antics, as it were, in Stonefall. I should have news soon. But... Well, you know, it's Kova's day. That's what happens, you know. Things have to change. The old has to give way to the new. And uh... we must be old. <laughs> A very still, morning. I'm still <laughs> in charge of you two while you're in the capital. I'm to escort what? you around and make sure you don't get any in trouble. Me? Yes, you. Why me? I'm well, not. Despite your I'm not your subordinate. Pact, despite your loyalty to the pact, you still are loyal to the Argonians, so. I well, I will always eye. be a people of the root. <clears throat> always. I will always be that. Because I'm Arconian. So, if you decided to vow your allegiance to being a Hist Guardian, you will always be a dry elf. A dry elf? What? <laughs> <laughs> well, you lack Anyways. the wit. You lack, you lack the wit of an Argonian. We at least know how to tell good jokes. No, no. Not yes, like dark yes. elf jokes. Dark elf no, jokes no. are dark and to the point. I once heard dark elf jokes were like dad jokes. No, they're not. They're not like yes, dad jokes. They're like, oh, I uh, heard they What's a good example of a dark elf joke? Let's say... It's a joke that causes the day. The joke chases... Here's one. As she tries to, tries to hunt a Wamasu and become an Argonian, gets eaten. <laughs> That's funny. Because he's our, 
She's just talking to the audience. And they're dumb. That's not, <laughs> that's not funny. That's not funny at all. What? See? Dry. Dry, 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 it is, dry. It is true. Dark elves like their coffee like their humor. Dark and bitter. <laughs> Dark and bitter. Burned, burned, burned. That's what I say. You That's look not funny. that bad, Kashit. You look, you look funny. I was going to ask you when I first saw you if you were feeling a little under the weather, if you were maybe feeling tired or something, because you don't have that normal shine. <laughs> oh, ha, ha. of the light anyway. reflecting off of you. Anyways, we what? should be off. Enough, enough of. Lamenting about my armor, or poking Wait fun at my lack of it. Wait a minute, you're taking us to the Fighters Guild, to the barracks, right? To the yes, coordinator headquarters. How are you going to protect Meow Meow here? Are you going to protect me? Both of you are under the protection of the Bact. I don't see any reason for you to fear. Help. How do you feel about that? This one is uncomfortable, but safe for now. No. All right, but you don't even have your metal man on. You're not even the Iron Man today. They're not even going to take you seriously. They're going to think you're just some villager coming in off the fields, trying to be something he isn't. Because we all know how dark elves try to be things they aren't. Technically, I am still somewhat of an ordinator, but without my armor, I lack any kind of authority. And may I, I know. see your May I see your credentials, please? Well, unfortunately, my helmet is a note of my station. But Where is it? I do. It's is confiscated it? right now. Who took it from you? Let's go get it. Let's go get it back. We'll vouch for you. It's the... Right? It's we the vouch for him? Office of we'll High vouch Ordinators for you. Of Amalexia reviewing whether well, or not right I am to keep my High Ordinator status. I, I will remind you that right here is uh, the mouth of it on Alexia. Oh, come now. You what? Well, he carried her letter. That makes, him, that makes him the mouth of some fuzzy princess, or who's it not? I don't know. What? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Some Kashidi you... princess -y. Someone. What's your story again? How dare you insult Princess Chimera? Just because there. she is hidden at the moment does not mean she isn't waiting to strike. Well, where is she waiting? She is currently working for the mouth. And by the, the mouth? Time, what mount? Formulate her plan. What mount? I don't see a mount. No, no. The mouth. She works for the equivalent of the mount in our own country. She's in Necron? She she lives on the Televani Peninsula? She's an Apocrypha? She's a mouth? Hmm. Huh? Hmm. Chauncey. I lean close and whisper in his ear, Chauncey, are you making this up? This one is unsure how much of the story he can share. We await Amalexia to read the letter, and once she does, all things will become clear. All I will say is that Princess Kamira is safe and currently working with the Speaker of the Main, Garesh. That is all you need to know at the moment. But more will become apparent as it becomes safe to reveal. Did you hear that, Biko Joe? Does that explanation satisfy your curiosity? Uh, I don't need to know about feline politics. 
All I need to know is that they told me to watch after him and I intend to. Well then, fearless leader, lead on. Right then, it's this way. Before the formation of the pact, this used to be a barracks. It's no longer the, the headquarters for the Ordinators anymore. But, at one time, the Ordinators used to use it as a training hall. Raise Vivek! You were there to stop Alexandra Cannell from capturing the Coral Heart. I'm not quite sure if the Fighter's Guild will be in an adequate replacement or be mutually beneficial for the Dunmer people, but Ah, uh, is someone that's asking for help in the guild. Come Let's on, ignore over. them. This person right here? Yes, outside. That's someone with the guild. I don't think we have time to talk to them. Alright, let's... What about this person with a blue arrow over her head? That's a daily. Uh, that's, that's a daily. That's called a daily. Here we are. Right. Oh, I raise my paw in greeting to the ordinator Kalau. Kill the Ordinators Lou. must be vigilant in our pursuit of preserving the peace for the Tribunal. Sadly, we can't be everywhere at once. And so, Magistrix Vox grows bolder every day. <clears throat> yes? We've, we've come to report the Obsidian Gorge is safe once more. Yes. So the rumors are true? Do Mark take the Moorborn and the trouble they've caused? We won't let the gorge fall again. Mm. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right, that was a. Uh... That's the end of that. We took <laughs> care of that quest. <laughs> okay. Our companions are off to a smashing start they've already completed one of the zone stories of Deshaun and now they have the second part which is a favor returned they arrived in Mornhold of course the capital city of the Evanhart pack as the seat of Dunmir power it is home to the tribunal temple which they have yet to go into. But due to recent events, the city is bustling with visitors. They have the house stray key, and they should go to the farm outside the city and investigate the house's connection to the Malborn. And so that is what our companions will be doing, going to the house stray farm. And as you can see on the map, it is below them right there where the eye is that's the location they're going to be going to now in addition to this they have a mechanical mur murder which is in the opposite direction and so we shall not look at at this time but they also have you have a break you have to break a few and that will be accomplished also once they go to the farm so, without further ado, we return to our companions. Ah, 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 Pico Gel, I was wondering if you would give me leave, since I'm under your protection, I roll my eyes, to go speak to a superior officer here and demand that they return your, your armor to you at once. Unfortunately, I fear that it's tied to my fate in my clan. They're discussing my position in the Inderil on the Telavani Peninsula right now, as we speak. Well, can't they give you a loner outfit? Ah, uh, unfortunately not. I do have some well, you... spare armor, but I should be fine in this. 
Well, I think I should go talk to somebody. Look, at if I touch any of these baskets or barrels, I'll be accused of theft. <laughs> well, it looks like you have to pretty keep your sticky fingers to yourself for a day. I hold up my claw and look at my tips. They're not sticky. Why do you say <laughs> they're sticky? They're clean. <laughs> you call I me. sniff them. You and they smell dry, good. Humid. <laughs> Let's go. We have something else to do at this time. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Well, to stress. Oh, oh, fearless leader, our our uh, protector and fearless uh, leader. When did this happen? Yeah. Well, I you mean, said that you, you more or less said we were your property in this city, that you would take care of us and vouch for us and protect us and, and <laughs> speak, speak for us and all that stuff. I'm an Enderil. I, most Enderils don't own slaves. Well... I didn't say you owned us. I didn't say we were your slave. You said property. Said yeah, that's different. Is that's it? Object. Objectification. Well, that was <laughs> a fancy person running in front of us. Wow. Oh no. Who is this? I don't this know. This is a Very fucking important. They're gonna kill him. To teach it a lesson. I think he learned there. It. What is this? Why is the Drez attacking me? What's everyone's? Oh, I do not know. Why? I thought this is part of your kinship. I do not. Is this not? Do not yeah, think we should say yes to the Drez. I don't the totally feel safe here. The Drez are different. Land and house in Daryl. Well, oh, look at all the oh, there's all kinds of little symbols. Uh, uh, what's I'm, gonna, happening? I'm gonna look at there's a su there's a suspicious filter here. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one. I will oh, take a look it's, at these it's suspicious slick. gems and see if they yeah, have a new home. Well, this is slippery substance, and it coats the surface of these bottles, and it kind of smells like damp and decay. It's gross. I don't understand why they want us to have this. It appears Could this so be? a body has burned in this fire pit. There is a suspicious ash in here. Let's take a look at that. What the hell? There, ooh, it reeks of charred flesh. Now that I'm down this, oh, it's permeating the room. It's rising from the pile of damps. Whatever creature was burned here has been entirely reduced to ash. That's for sure. Oh, oh. oh do you suppose this is from it? It's a turkey leg. You want to taste it? See if it's good? I mean, it's kind of overcooked. Maybe it's from that and it's still warm to the touch. Meow, meow, come and taste it and see if it's still good for This for one, not sure it's a great idea to be eating random food found in this place. This is a suspicious oh, one look right at here. You. I think he's it's getting like... smarter. I made it. Did oh, you miss look me? At... Find anything exciting uh, yes. before I got here? What is she here for? Hello, Nariu. Well, well, well. See that? That's an impressive trapdoor for a simple farmhouse cellar. I love it when my hunches pan out. What do you think we should do? Isn't it obvious? Open the door. They must be hiding something good down there. Let's go see. Mm. Oh, first of all, this one did not see a door. What door? It's surprised how oh, well. Strez managed to uh, do anything with the ordinators on high alert. Not much gets past uh, them, even when they're not looking for trouble. And what do you think we'll, we'll find behind the trap door all down up there uh, underneath that suspicious rug? 
Part of me hopes that all we find are a bunch of old crates that nobody cares about. But I've got one of those feelings. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it involves the Marlborn. You still want us to help? Yeah, do you? What I want and what I do are usually very different things, my friend. Let's just get down there and see what's going on. With any luck, we'll be done before the Corner Club serves tonight's Flaming Nick Stew. And the drinks will be on me. Well, then let's get this over with. Did you find it? It's up here. It's Ooh, under that they mysterious they rug. Yes. So, you go first. Oh, great. <laughs> let's see what we find. Hopefully no ghosts. Yeah, I was thinking the same. It looks kind of suspicious. This is the Mornhold Sewers, I... She said. Mornhold <clears throat> Sewers. What does that mean for us? Probably smelly. It is very smelly. Let's take a look. Well, our companions have gotten themselves into a sewer. It's the Mornhold Underground the next portion of the zone story and Nariu and them climbed down into the cellar beneath the Dre farmhouse and she's anxious to find out what's going on down here and they should ask her what she thinks they should do next so they're gonna need to follow Nariu and catch up with her so let's see if they can about time you got here what took you so long Come on, I believe she went see what's this done. way. Ooh. There she is, up ahead. Okay. Look out. Be wary. There are evident right. reports of goblins in these, these sewers. These tunnels were supposed to be sealed off. Well, here's well, somebody called. Well, the fire and all that. Follow me. Oh, no, where is she? I don't hear her. I don't see her. Oh, here she is. How are this you? This isn't good. <laughs> I wish my partner Varon was here. He'd know what to do. Wait, no, I don't. Varon would wring my neck for being down here. So, um, fair warning. <clears throat> this could be bad. Real bad. What are you talking about? This cave system. It links directly to the sewers beneath Mournhold. Well, to part of them. The sewers are more extensive than you'd think. That's why I couldn't find the Mallborn. They can move through these tunnels without being noticed. <clears throat> You uh -huh. seem to know a lot about these tunnels. Let's just say I've spent more than my share of time sneaking around beneath cities. If you've seen one sewer, you've seen them all. <clears throat> but how can the Malborn avoid the ordinators? Protections were placed down here to hide people. People with blood on their hands. Blood. Like me. Like you. If they found a way to activate the Daedric wards again, then the Morborn have a virtual hidden highway to use against us. What? Daedric wards? What aren't you telling us, Naru? That's not relevant right now, hero. Stay focused. Find the Morborn and figure out what they're up to. Then we can talk about my sordid yet extremely intriguing past. Yes. All right, let's follow her. It's... Really? Search around. There should be a door somewhere nearby. I'll keep an eye out. One moment, please. I just wanted to take a moment to greet those of you showing up today. There's so many of you that I... I, I, I uh, Red Fox, Braveheart, Deep Dark, Supreme Goddess, Dream Soldier, Hey, Key 537. Hey, how you doing? you hi there oh i can hear them fighting without me um because i'm michael i think i already said alone in the dark indian she crossed the red sierra strong onion beyond oh and what's her favorite class what's her favorite class well m m my favorite class what's your favorite class Oh, this little thing attacked? This little this little thing attacked? There was an Argonian uh, ahead of us and they killed. They attacked it. Uh, oh, I'm in the sewer. Stinky sewer. What the heck? What, 
Why would you do that to yourself? <laughs> You would definitely need a new dress. Oh, I do. That was gross and disgusting. Disgusting. Uh, I don't know what. Oh, it looks putrid down in there. I fell in there. Yes, I. I have bad news. What? The ground that you're standing on. That's not Earth. It's poop. Yes, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm afraid that species. <laughs> I'm turning this and getting out of here then. Uh, it appears that the stone slab here might be able to open if you can find the switch that uh, operates it. Let me we need guess. to find a switch. The door won't open? No. There's something controlling it. Look around a bit and watch out for those creatures. <laughs> the cat fell in as well. <laughs> Well, look at she's down in here there, because he had to. He found the stone uh, lever. Yeah, so he they, found they the stone lever. Open the door. Pewee. Pewee. Did it open it? There we go. Just needed some elbow grease. I can't open it. How come I can't open it? How come I can't open it? Doesn't open for me. Uh, it seems. Hasn't opened for me either. Nor apply for me. alt grease oh, to. There is one more switch up here. Oh, there we go. Oh. I. I... Uh... They did work. All right. Did you get in? You got in. Over here. This ladder. Climate switch. Flip the switch. Boy. All right. There now we I'll go. Use it. Good right, job. Where? I knew you could do it. Meet me inside. All right. Huey, really, really, really stinks in here. Are you? Lord, they're active. That's impossible. No one outside my organization should have been able to activate them. If the Morborn are using this base, the entire city is in danger. Well, your organization, could they be involved? No, they can't be. Maybe a splinter group or something? I don't know what to think. Not all of us exactly see eye to eye on our current situation, but mm. to join up with a Morborn? That's just idiotic. What else could activate the war? I suppose anyone with knowledge of the Daedric arts might be able to activate them. I'm not an expert on magic, you know. I need to warn somebody. Veron needs to know about this. Well, what do the wards do the again? The wards use Daedric magic to protect these tunnels from scrying magic. Even works against the tribunal, from what I've been told. Anyone down here is practically invisible to the city above. <clears throat> so... So what is it that you want us to do? Do what you do best. Rush in, swinging weapons and tossing magic around like there's no tomorrow. If you find whoever activated the wards, get them to tell you what's going on down here. Hmm. I'll figure out what's going on down I here. I know you will. That's why I ran into you on your way to the temple. I'll drop the ordinators an anonymous tip. Maybe even get word to your beloved goddess. Hopefully someone will show up to give you a hand. Just don't die on hmm. me, hero. Got that? Yeah. Well, we're not gonna so, die on you. So this was a more tongue base. It used to be. But we haven't used these halls in a long, long time. Mm. Not since we fell out of favor. Mm. What's down here? That's just it. There shouldn't be anything down here. Not anymore. Sure, in the past, when the wards were active, we used this place to come and go as we pleased. There wasn't a better hiding place for a group of dedicated assassins for hire. Mm. And who else that could activate these wards? I suppose anyone with knowledge of the Daedric Arts might be able to activate them. I'm not an expert on magic, you know. I need to warn somebody. Veron needs to know about this. Alright, what do we need to do? What do you do best? 
rush in swinging weapons and tossing magic around like there's no tomorrow. If you find uh -huh. whoever activated the wards, get them to tell you what's going on down here. Okay. We'll figure out what's going on I'm down here. here. That's why I ran into you on your way to the temple. I'll drop the ordinators an anonymous tip. Maybe even get word to your beloved goddess. Uh -huh. Hi. Oh, I got that guy. Not bored. There's always bad guys. That was a long dialogue. She's very wordy, that one. This reminds me of, in a way, Wave Rest Sewers. Doesn't it remind you? Oh, how's that? Let's see which way we have to go. We gotta follow her, right, or fo something like that. I think this way. Nope. Is it this way? I think it's this way. It's this way. Oh, maybe I'm lost. Maybe I'm getting us lost. My city. My people shall not be harmed. I do not think it's possible to be too lost. We just follow the sewer around and eventually what? we pop up in someone's toilet. Oh. <laughs> I, think, I, I think I took us the wrong way. I think we have to go this way. And then we have to go this way. And fight somebody over here. Maybe? Yes. Up right. above. Wait. Yes. We have to go up those stairs over there. These stairs right here. And then go up. Oh. Ah. oh, you're so good. You're so good with that hammer. Thank you. This one has had much experience smashing scores. Did we already kill these guys? <laughs> they are very enthusiastic. Yes, I think they have necronic abilities. Alright, I cannot lead down here because I'm confused where we go. I think if we were going in the right direction, but it... It doesn't appear so because do you see right there in that little alcove there's a there's the symbol. Do you see it? The gate above us is locked. There's a team so we have to go around. There's a gate above where we are now. But uh okay. from what I can see it's locked. So then we have to get up there but we have to go around to unlock it. Let me check just to make sure. Yes, the, the gate seems to be locked. Then we have to go the way we were going and then get up there in that direction. Uh-oh, Chauncey's in battle. Coming to the rescue. Oh, Alright, let's get out of here. You shouldn't be. The sewers have always been a home for refuse and trash. For drains? For drains? He's a malborn. But yes, the drains can be in the sewers too. What about over here? No, not that way. I'm not altogether fond of sewers, personally. 
this I'm is not interesting. That's I'm not sure right if I've ever met anyone who is. Aha, look at where Stay we back. are. Attacking the we got around the gate, it is up there. And here we what are. fool dares enter the lair of the mob? Wait, we know you. Magistrix Vox will be pleased with us when you <gasps> display your head on fire. It's like an arena. Come at me, I'll take you all along. Ah. <laughs> I bet someone wishes he had his arm in mind. Here they come in all directions. Even if I have that my armor, I have still have the protection of the tribunal. Come on, show us what you got. <laughs> Burned away Head from up. the ashes. Of the Is that all you got? Oh, what's that? My city, my people shall not be harmed. I can't see. The scent of hey. of magic permeates. Isn't that your girl? This is Lady Amalaxia. Shall pay dearly for their crime. It seems I am in your debt again, champion. Your friend. She thinks to hide from me. But I heard her words of warning. She cares for you. But Verona is wounded. I shall take her to the Mage's Guild where she can receive care. Find her there. Oh, she's gone just as I got focused on her. <laughs> <laughs> right. Ah. Uh. It's a very convoluted mission we're on. Not quite sure where we're going. We should be yes. heading back now to the major skill. Yes, I see. We we need to go back down to those sewers below and go out this way. The hist is guiding me. It's saying this way, this way, silent, this way. See? Nicely done. We are at the door. Yes. <laughs> Here we are. A breath of fresh air after the stench of that sewer. That's quite disgusting. Our companions come out into the fresh air of Mournhold. And Amalexia said she was taking Verana, the Malborn prisoner, to the Mage's Guild to have her wounds tended to. They should go there and find out what she knows. So they're en route to the Mage's Guild back in the city of Mornhold. All right, I guess we're going back to the to the Mornhold to find out what that poor prisoner knew or didn't know or knows or. It's right thinks. this way. We may have to swim a bit, but it's right across the lake. Oh, that's no problem for me. I can swim. Uh, thankfully, I don't have my armor on today. This one is not excited for the swimming, but I suppose that's what we have to do. Poor kitty. Ooh. But to you wring out my it. fur. But to shake it off. <laughs> well, come here. Come here. Stand still. I take my paws and grab hold of your head and ring. Mm. Ring, <laughs> ring. <laughs> Not sure how this one feels about that. That is a strange sensation. But I will say my hair feels better, so that is one positive. I scared my puppy. She's got the hiccups now. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was asleep on my lap. Now she's like, what the heck? 
Oh, the ringing. Like, who's following? All that ringing. Yeah, it's all that ringing. Am I following the right person? Yes, I am. I ran into a chair. Hmm. Did you know the chair from before? To the incident <laughs> 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 Oh, Chauncey. I don't know what we'd do without your wit. Hmm. Oh, this is pretty in here. I like the way it looks. Oh, nice mushroom. Oh, the over here, initiate. I know you. You were in the sewers, right? Yes. You saved me, didn't you? I don't remember much, yes. but I remember but you. We were in the sewers by the smell. Yeah, well, the sewers stink, and you you haven't washed yet. I can see it on you. <laughs> I think you need to go wash and get some food and drink and maybe lay down in a proper bed, and you'll feel better in the morning. But before you go, tell us what you remember. I came to Mournhold a few weeks ago to visit some friends. I guess word got out that a Telvani was in the city because I suddenly found myself tied up in the sewers. The Moorborn. They kept badgering me about Daedric magic. Why would anyone care about the Telvani? Are you really so naive? House Telvani rejected membership in the Ebonheart Pact. We remain isolated, pursuing our own interests along the Telvani coast. That's just one of the reasons the other houses distrust us. Why would the Malborn ask you about Daedric magic? Members of House Telvani are known for their knowledge of all types of magic. I guess they assumed I could make the old wards active again. I did what they wanted. Eventually. It was either that or... I don't want to think about it. Wait. You want us to believe they forced you to help them? I don't care what you believe. But I never heard of the Morborn before I came to this vile city. And I certainly had no intention of betraying the Tribunal before they threatened me. Hmm. And do you know what the Malborn were doing down there? I only know what I heard. I think they were planning an attack of some sort. They sent off a large group just before you showed up. I told all of this to the Sacred Lady. She said you would visit me and I should tell you to find an Ordinator. <laughs> wonder what Ordinator. This one here, maybe? I don't know. Maybe there's another one inside we're supposed to go to. Alright. So, the quest says uh, we have to talk to an ordinator, and it appears that the ordinator is by the stables. I think we have to go find a special ordinator. This ordinator? This one that. <laughs> yes, no ordinary ordinator. The sacred lady asked us to watch for you. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes. Um, we were told you had a message for us. Indeed. The Sacred Lady wants you to know that she wasn't able to eliminate all of the pests you found in the sewers. The small army that got away, is it still on the loose? So Amalexia believes. I was told to convey upon you the gratitude of the Tribunal, and to inform you that the Sacred Lady still has need of your services. Thank you for the gold coin and the Ordinator boots. Appreciate it. And one more thing. The Sacred Lady wishes to speak with you, personally. She awaits oh. your presence. Please, head to the temple at once. Does she know where the Malborn plan to the attack? The Sacred Lady doesn't share all her secrets with those who serve her. But as far as I know, no attack has yet occurred within the confines of the city. What aren't you telling us? We've been ordered not to discuss the entirety of the situation in public. To prevent panic, you understand. The Lady summons you. Go. <clears throat> We're on our way. Okay. 
Where are we going now? Back to the temple, I believe. Perhaps oh, now Alexei yes. has read the letter and wishes to speak about it. Your holy place, yes? That's where we're going now? Yes, we're going okay. back to speak with Almalexia. You should be happy about that, Meow Meow. Oh wait, Maybe that's look. What all the fuss is about. A letter. Should we look at this letter? Oh, it's from Lyrant. It's from Lyrant. Do you love Lyrant? She wanting a we must travel to the Alliance capital and meet with my agent? What is this a whole nother <clears throat> Well Okay. I seem to be the only one present today. As a agents of Mayroom stake on, they say. What do you mean? Earth, As... The letter speaks of agents of Mayroom's Dagon. Yes. That are watching. Uh, hmm. I don't know. It's not connected to anything. Just a message. So. Yes. This... Uh. Is it up here? No. Uh... It's behind this building. Ah! Oh, we can go okay. the opposite way if you like. I'll go whichever way you want. I think she's down below. Down there, I see her. Down there. Oh, you have eyes on that boat. Wait, no, this is a different... Oh, that's that Nord. <laughs> Run! Well, that Nord Run! is a crazy person. Do not talk with me. Don't talk to that person. He'll put us to work. He tried to make us dance on the fire. We saw that other one doing it all night long. I think so. Where are we going? I think it's up in that building up there. It is. That... This way. children have betrayed me. I am rarely an angry god, but this time there shall be a reckoning. Mm. How can we help? Rage consumes me. The moorborn invade my home, they attack my children, they attack me. You have proven yourself loyal and capable. I call upon you to serve me once more. I'm honored, sacred lady. I think we all are. Yes. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege what must we do? not stand. Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat them, and then make your way to my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine what the Moorborn are really up to. Now go, and carry my divine rage with you. <sighs> but what can we do that you can't? You shall hear, though you shall never speak of it. This enemy uses guile and subterfuge. I need time to understand the threat they pose. My divine defenses have been breached and the temple has been invaded. I cannot be seen to fail. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, why do you care about appearances? Appearances are everything. They feed opinion and belief, and such matters are important to me. But enough questions. Save the temple, and you will be renowned among mortals and favored by gods. 
You honor me, sacred lady. The Moorborn penetrated the temple and opened a portal into oblivion. Even now, Daedra swarm within its hallowed halls. Such sacrilege must not stand. What should we do? Banish the Daedra that defile our temple. Defeat I think we're repeating and ourselves. To my altar. While you slay their minions, I shall determine I what the so. Moorborn are really are talking in a circle. Now go. And carry my divine. Such is the way with deities from time to time. They do do that, don't they? I, I was noticing, I really do like her little outfit, even if she looks like a slave or a belly dancer or almost. Well, she looks better than the prostitute we ran into at the <laughs> Flaming Nicks. Yes, he's but, very attractive looking. Yes. Of course she is. Look. She's a god and she can wear what she likes. That well, would do. She, doesn't she kind of look like, you know, she's like... Ah. Uh, well, I'm not... Yeah, okay. She's above mortal conjecture. Well, look at her, though. You can see her thighs and her butt cheeks. And if you look... Been forward and kind of look this way, you can see things uh, that are hidden. Lord Vivek wears a similar attire. Perhaps it's a god thing. Must be. Alright, I want to dress like a god. What do you think? You're, this clearly, not from a, top. you're clearly not a god. <laughs> I didn't ever. I didn't say I was a god. I just said I wanted to wear something like that. <laughs> well, perhaps we'll have to find something. Okay. We'll have to see it once you put it on. Maybe you can pull it off, but I don't. I don't. <laughs> I don't. I think I could. I think, uh, I think I could. I'm going in your tribunal. Oh, we seem to have some uh, discussion going on about the best part of the stream. I like their voice acting. Thank you. That's Thanks. very nice. But if they die in PVE story, I'll drink a bottle. Well, I hope we don't die. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't before. What is this? Where are we? All right, uh, let's take a look. Yes, here. and our companions. Yes, go ahead. What were you the saying? The temple has been taken over with Daedra. Do you see them? Oh. They are everywhere. We must purge and them I think... and clear the place. Yes. Yes, and I think there are three of them. I think there are three of them, so I guess we do you want to go clockwise or counterclockwise? I think we should go counter because we're undoing them. Oh, uh, that's fine by me as long as we're killing Daedra. Been in here before. We were in here looking for something not long ago. Do you remember? Oh, yes, look where it. Am I? Look at it. Here's the oh, oh. oh. mm. All right, that's one portal down. One portal down. Two more to go. Ah! That one kicked me on my butt. <laughs> All right. Are there any more portals? There's one right around here. I see it. I hear it. Oh, there it is. I went into it, but I didn't go anywhere. Thank goodness I, I got myself back. Only one more. 
to go. One more. It is. Oh, my assassination was just increased to 42. Like that. Oh. oh, a lore book is right here. Oh. It's a collection collector's mm -hmm. item because there's like 500 of these things oh here's the third portal i got it Ugh. i think we're I, what are we supposed to do now i Until think that watch oh, no. yes i think this is the last ow that is a crazy attack. Uh, back by 15 feet. Uh, where's Al Amalexia's altar? We need to go there. It is in here where we first spoke with the goddess. Oh. Here we are. This is it? What is she saying to you, Chauncey? Nothing. She is not talking. Oh, I don't understand. Oh, there she is. Yes, she yes, is. There she is. is. Oh, now we can see her again. Naked little clad girl. All right, I'm Alexia. I sense the temple is free of the Daedric incursion. We are well pleased. While you fought for my glory, I learned more about our foes. What have you found out? Magistrix Vox used Daedric magic to split the seams of the wards around the High Chapel. Then she opened an Oblivion Gate to fill the temple with Daedra. Oh, what can we do for you, Mother Morwen? You need to get into the High Chapel. Vox managed to bypass the defenses, but its wards are still in place, drawing on the full power of the Tribunal. We must get you past those wards. Oh, how do we get in? Without the blessing of each of the three, no mortal may pass through the wards and enter the High Chapel. You have more than proven yourself to me. You have my blessing already. Well, can't we get in the same way Magistrate Box did? You would compound the sacrilege that has already been wrought upon our temple? No, well, that is unacceptable. If you I'm aid sorry. us, you will do it with our blessings, or not at all. Oh, now she's getting mean. Well, how do we get the blessings of other gods? Go to the cloisters of Vivek and Sothaseel. My companion gods are absent, but they left trials I can activate to grant their blessings. Pass the trials, and you will be blessed. Oh, okay. Huh. You, do you know where these places are? Yes, the they're, within, they're within the temple itself. We'll follow you then. There's like a labyrinth in here. This one loves the labyrinth. You get all those books to check out and read for free. <laughs> That's library you're thinking of. Oh, I sometimes get these words mixed up. It makes more wow. sense. I was wondering these why I saw no books here. These are the important stories. They'll tell you what... The trials of Sotha Steel and Vivek. Is this Vivek right here? Yes, this is Vivek. Yeah. Okay, I guess we gotta pray here. I don't know what to pray for, to be perfectly honest. What do I pray for? Read that arm, Alexia can read that letter. Oh, she wants to talk to us again, I guess. I didn't pray. Did you pray at this altar? Hold on. I did pray. Let me pray. 
All right. Now we got to talk to her. What is she telling us now? The next trial will measure your clarity of judgment. He saw our blessed people through vexing times. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. How do we receive Vivek's blessing? Vivek's teachings often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned by listening and then acting. His challenge exemplifies that approach. You must listen, then act. Tell me what I must do. A temple worker named Varman dueled Belron and Telvani, slaying him before witnesses. But Varman was a loyal spy. To incite such discord was against his nature. As Vivek did, speak with Varman. Determine who truly slew the Telvani. Okay. Who, who, do you know who did? Me. Yeah, you're the... You're the... Everyone did, and no one did. It was his house. Who's yeah. this? My lord if it's Vivek, Top I bear the most is. grievous news. Belrun and Telvani challenged me to a <laughs> blood. I regret to say, I won. It was a small cut upon the arm, enough to settle the matter, but he fell dead. Oh, tell us of these troubles. I was advising Tornus and Goldsa when the others arrived, Belronan full of anger, Fenila a sneer on her lips, and Morami resigned to what came next. Belronan claimed I'd interfered in his affairs. He insisted I knew what he meant. Had you given him reason to be correct? Of course not. I told him so, but he claimed it a lie and challenged me to a first blood duel. Then oh. everything turned to death. My blade ended his life and directly caused his turmoil. I willingly submit to your judgment, Lord Vivek. Well, you... let's see. Hmm. Your hands guided another plot, right? But... But you, you, you maneuvered into a duel which you felt... I just don't know what, how to answer this person. Well, what is? it was a fight to first blood. But uh, someone had poisoned his blade without his knowledge. Well, so which one is it? I mean, he was maneuvered into a duel? I mean, he lost yes. it? His hand Your was word is by another's plot. I am here to command. Though my blow caused Belronan's death, it was set in motion by another hand. I, I think will aid you in discovering him. the source of this duel, if you will it. Well, as you say, Vamin. Look at this guy down here. This is Belron and Telvani. I'm going to examine him. His corpse remains where it fell in the duel, I guess. The only wound he bears is a tiny cut on his arm. There's not much. Hmm. There, wait, wait. Do you see what I see? There appears to be a note in his belt. Yes, let's look at it. What is it? Ah. Oh. The crumpled note threatens to bring oh Bellamar's heretical trade in Daedric relics to the attention <gasps> he was a cheater <clears throat> it's just signed V like in victory or like a vomit well that's true I never thought of that hmm I don't know there seems to be a duality of deception going on here Who, who are these people now? Representatives who are you? of the poor clan. Belronan's death in the temple brings great shame to his house. I had thought reasoned words could dissuade him from the duel. Such temper is common to House Telvani, but it's not my place to question their reliability. Hmm. Well, if you could doubt your artless certainty. Who's this person? Lord Vivek, 
Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents were vile. One sworn to the temple, quibbling over coin. You should kill him yourself, my lord. Oh. You desire V's death? Okay. Let none doubt your abundance of candor. I guess there's two more to look at. This person right here is Vanilla a Vanilla lent Belronin her blade before the duel. I insisted Vaman and Belronin swap weapons. You'd think she was Ash Mountain the way she fumed. Vanilla's blade killed Belrovin? Your words illuminate more than just your pettiness. Oh. All right, let's talk to this last person and figure this out. Lord Hello. Vivek, I was here when Belronin issued his challenge. He would still live if not for Fenila. She stoked the Telvani's rage, urging him not to back away from an insult to his honor. She called herself his friend. Curious way to show it. Yes, indeed. Fenella urged the duel to happen. Curious, as you say. Well, you all. We have investigated this scene. Indeed, we have. So, they have looked at the investigation of the scene and now in order to receive Vivek's blessing they need to pass his trial um, they should speak with Al Alexia to ask for advice there's a hint they need to find the one in Vivek's trial who is guilty of the murder and to do that they've talked with everyone to find out exactly what happened and now they have to pass Vivek's trial it seems what will Vivek's trial be, I wonder? Where do we go? This way. Cover the tree. I believe we talked to Alma Alexia again, do we not? Oh, okay. Vivek's trial will measure your clarity of oh, Searching he for his blade. She appears to put the poison on the blade. His wisdom reveals the secrets others keep. So shall yours be put to the test. But how do we receive Vivek's blessing? How many times do we Vivek's have to ask that? Oh, often take the form of allegories and tales. His lessons are learned Come by to listening. Me. I think we should. His challenge exemplifies that approach. Accuse one of them. Then act. A temple worker. All right. This vanilla. You think? It was her blade, and she was met. Lord Vivek, Varman should be dead on the floor. Belronin Indeed. wouldn't share the note that Temple Netch sent his way, but assured me its contents they were vile. on Belronin. One sworn and to the poisoned temple, his blade and was not coin. anticipating you that they would yourself, have to switch swords. All right, so Vayman killed Velmon with your blade, a single nick, and he died. Morani Why? He sold me poison yesterday. I'd planned to hunt oh, the races next week, but decided this was a better way to get rid of vermin. So I poisoned the blade. Belronin should actions. never have traded weapons. Worse, he should never have lost to Varman. Your actions led to Varman's death. My lord, the life of one such as Varman bears no comparison to Belronin till then. What happened? It's the end of the trial made your choice you walked in our skin and wrought our judgment you exposed the lie at the core of all truth this may be lost on you it does not matter are you vivek? we are echoes of vivek nothing more all things less we recall the wisdom of his judgment which differed from your own you could not know. You are not Vivek. Who did Vivek, Vivek Both. choose? Neither. We rewarded Fenila for her cunning, yet House Redoran suffered for poisoning a Telvani in another's duel. We flayed Morami for her actions, yet elevated House Hlalu for its actions in exposing a heretic. Can you 
accept this truth. Yes, I can accept it, can you? Through your wisdom and judgment, you have earned Vivek's favor. Receive our blessing. Oh. All right, let's go. Uh... Nexus of the Seals Shrine. I think we have to go this way. I must admit that South the Seal is a conundrum to me. Mm. Here it is, his shrine. Hopefully he does not want to shrink us down and put us in Clockwork City. No, but I'm going to talk to Alomexia again. See what so she has to say. values intelligence and ingenuity. He builds, he maintains. He is the master of his creations. He shall test these qualities in you. How do I receive Sothisil's blessing? Sothisil has devised a test that allows him to learn more about you each time you complete it. You are to repair one of his clockwork toys and then break it. Oh. We have to fix something just so we can destroy it. Is turn like the hurling disc. All artifice is ephemeral, and at times, parts are of more use than the whole. There, divine wisdom. Does that satisfy you? <laughs> Wait, out. I want to repeat that divine wisdom. All artifice is ephemeral, and at times, parts are uh, of more use than the whole. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? This one here, is, but does not fully comprehend it. I don't either, because I thought the hole was better than the parts. Okay. All right, so we got to repair something. Do you see a Sotha Sil toy around? Maybe in this room? In this room, there's a... Uh... Oh, there's several things to repair. There's a boring mechanism. All right, let me turn this on now. There's a... Oh, that just brought out the same thing. There must be something different to do. Perhaps we look at this arbiter of perfection. Alright. Hmm. Uh, Alright, look at it. There's a loose panel that slides open right here. It's Oh, it's got five empty sockets. What are these large pegs within its chest cavity? Aww. Wait, wait, can do can you make out what that legible inscription says? Let's take a look at the let's take a closer look at the pegs. Mm -hmm. The pegs look as though they could fit large dwarmer gears. So, but there are there are there are no spare gears within the arbitrator's chest cavity. Right, let's leave that pegs alone for now. Uh let's look at the sockets. There are no dynamo cores fitted into the sockets. I have a, I, I did, I do have an, a, a, I'm going to put this one right there. Uh, but the massive, I can't figure this out. What's the inscription say? A master creates the perfect. That which sparks numbers like houses, which built this temple. That which Bins, numbers, my closest companions, and m myself. Um, my master destroys the imperfect, that which therefore is rendered to its base component. <laughs> Sorry. I think I there's think an order to it. Perhaps it's... Uh, Dynamo, then spin one of the wheels. Yes. All right. So, what do you think? I'm. I'm gonna. Did you get another one? I think we have to get more of these cores because every time we do this, 
one of those guys come out, we have to kill him. And then we get a core from him. This guy. I think we have to kill him with these guys to get what we need. See, there's a dynamo. There's... I have three dynamo cores. How many do you have? This one also has three. I believe I this. have three as well. Oh, this. This is spinning spider. gears. Oh, these are spinning gears. Let's kill them again. Oh this makes sense. We are creating something and then destroying it by summoning them and then destroying them. Okay, let's see if I can put some of these gears in him. I examine the sockets. I'm going to add a dynamo core. I'm going to look at the pegs. I can add a gear. All right, we have to keep doing that. Let's look at... All right, we have to keep putting in until he's full. So we have to get more, I guess. Yeah, I just repaired. Oh wait, he's repaired. Oh, there we go. The big one is easy. Now we have to destroy it, I guess. Go here's the enigma of Sothis Sill. Your reason surpassed the Arbiter's <sighs> trap. In doing so, you've revealed yourself to us. You do not fully comprehend. Such is your imperfection. Hmm. Are you Sothis Sill? We are the imperfection of Sothis Sill, excised from his being, yet never truly apart. We measure the indulgence of inspiration against the necessities of progression. You will never know. You are not Sothis Sill. Why did we have to destroy Perfection the Arbiter? Perfection can never truly be attained. By testing one's constantly degrading mechanism against this unknowable goal, you reveal the imperfections of your own device. Can you accept this necessity? Yes. Comprehending the necessity of imperfection, you have earned the blessing of Sotha Seal. Oh, how nice is that? Well, I guess guess we should go to that high chapel of the three now. We got the three blessings. Let's find out where it is. Ah, greetings. Daedra. What? Cross thread. Some Daedra from Oblivion is telling me hello. Hello. <laughs> Has the the cross threat threatened to fight us. me one time. <laughs> well, it says to seize at Scylla the Three, Three. defeat Malborn Priest. That's what we have to do is go up there and defeat that guy. Here, I'm going to activate this relic. Well, that worked. I'll go. Activate the relic of South the Seal. Are you gonna do Vivic? I think I think Chauncey you should do Vivic. Does it work? Very well, let me sit on it and see. There you go. <laughs> sit on it. What do you do? She will destroy you all! Have a back chat. There! Let's get out of this. I need a breath of fresh air. Indeed, it reeks of sulfur and fire in here. Sulfur and fire and... Priestly endeavors. I can't and... help what my... What my banner does. Your banner? <laughs> it made... It, uh... It made the room streak like sulfur fire. Is that My why man. it stunk all of a sudden in here? Because <laughs> <laughs> you put you put down that banner. Still a it's good on fire. That's a 
stinky banner if ever I smelled one. It's fire. I can't help what my abilities do. You, wait. You have nothing to do with that. That's just a banner that reacts. <laughs> I, I gotta tell you a secret. I gotta talk to the Sam Alexia first. Let's talk to her and get this. I felt in. a burst of power from the temple and ventured within, secret? fearing the worst. But yeah. you prevailed. What have you discovered? Well, the Malborn sacrificed their own troops so that Vax would escape with the judgment of Veloth. I will discover what powers the judgment of Veloth possesses and why Vox has stolen it. In the meantime, you must pursue Magistrix Vox. For your heroism and service this day, I name you a Hand of Armalexia. Oh. Go with my blessing upon you. Oh, thank you for the Ordinator uh, Helm. Looks like Here, someone's not mine. the only one with a shiny helmet. Yes, indeed. No, no, I won't have it. With the recent troubles, the ordinators are on high alert. One of them saw her headed that way. That way? Which way? Which way? You didn't point. I... Oh, easy. To the All east right, we'll of Warhold lies Selfora, a quiet village known for its independent spirit. Vox almost certainly passed through there. Start your search in Selfora. Ah, uh, well, we're on our way. Has, has Almalexia always looked like this? Yes, she's one of the few. She's one of the few Dunmer that didn't turn into a Dumber. She's actually a Kaimer. She didn't turn into a Dumber? Yes, she... Me you mean She's they become dumber than they already are? It is hard to be Dunmer. She's not technically a dark elf. She's a Kaimer. Well, that's the origin of the Dunmer, isn't it? It is. They get dumber and dumber as they evolve? Is that how it goes? No, I think you're thinking of Argonians. What? <laughs> <laughs> Ah! Oh, yes. All right. Start off building with stones, and now you build with mud. Mm. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> you don't. You don't understand why we do that. Why the importance? The uh, we oh, were I great architects. We were great architects in the Black Swamp. We were. We have. Huge palaces that go to up to the highest skyline that you could even possibly higher than yours and but wider. It sounded like you were about to say you were artichokes. Well, I do like artichokes. I do like I, I do I like artichokes. That. I like artichokes. Why don't I, the heart? You get to the heart of the matter with an artichoke. <laughs> I tell you, you had as, as large and tall of towers as we do here. Oh no, taller, higher, wider. Mm, doubt oh, it. Bruh. No, no, we do. Let me tell you. We do. You just haven't seen them. You've never seen them. You think that <sighs> we're all about mud. You think we're like little kids no, playing no. in the dirt. I've seen, but I'm I've seen, I've seen some of your ruins. Don't get me wrong. You used to have impressive buildings, but like I was saying, dumber as you go along. <laughs> yes, I know you guys are getting dumber as you go along. That's definitely true. And you see, we, we are evolving into intelligence, intelligentsia, where at the starlight, we are evolving into a grand transformation that will take us beyond all of Nern. Well, beyond Black Marsh. We, we are evolving. Uh, uh, we're being blessed. And, and we're being bestowed with everything. Quite the blessing. 
Maybe I should... I think you've opened my eyes. Oh, I'll never look at mud at the same way again. Every time I'll see mud and sticks, I'll be like, there's a blessing. Hey, that's a blessing when you think about it. Did you know out of mud and sticks you can make brick? Out of mud and sticks you can make bowls? Out of mud and stick you can Again. make baskets? Out of mud and stick you can feel that which is beneath <laughs> our feet. For that which is beneath our feet is the soul of Nern. It's the soul uh, of Nern. Think about it. Speaking of cultures, that aren't worth knowing anything about. What do you live in, Khajiit? This one assumes you're not talking to him, or you're talking about a culture not worth discussing. Khajiit culture oh. is big, <laughs> rich, and lush indeed. I do not think your well. tiny brain can handle it. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm I... sure. What do you... What kind of buildings do you make? We make grand palaces which stand for hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. You can still see oh, them. Millions. They are quite beautiful. Yes, have you never been to the Temple of the Moons? The Three Moons? Oh. I've never been outside of Mo and except a few uh, light excursions oh. into Skyrim and Black Marsh. <laughs> Very different place than this, because here, you watch the ground to see what is happening, but there, you must also okay. check the skies for the Okay, large what do you dragon. mean? Do you see what Hakei is saying? Hakei is saying that Scaleback will never be anything but slaves. <laughs> uh... No, the tribunal said that they're equal to us Dark Elves. We can't say that to their faces anymore. What are you, a part of House, House Drez? <laughs> it must be, must. Cats live in a desert. Oh, this person is very controversial. This person. That's what I... I don't I, even think, I don't even think it's a person. That's all I know of, uh, elsewhere is that it's desert, is it not? Oh, where Khajiiti live elsewhere? It is tropical, don't you think? Meow it's, meow, don't you think? It is elsewhere true, is we live elsewhere. We do not live here. It is somewhere else. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, meow. Oh, as our three companions engage in a debate with the voices of oblivion and with amongst themselves. I, the narrator, come in to bring us up to, up to the present. They have now been given uh, a quest called Chasing the Magistrix Vax. Um, and Alma Alexia suggested that they start their search for Vax in the village of Sel... So far, east of Morrowind, we'll look at this for a moment on the map. Oops. Oops. Right there. Right there. You see right there. And you can see where our, our fine companions are. Our fine companions are right here. They have two smaller quests. One that will take them down to talk to the mamas. Arabasi and finish that little tiny side quest that happened way back when across the border from where they crossed over a few weeks ago. And then eventually another quest that will take them all the way up to a very spectacular area. I wonder where our companions will go to finish out their 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 day today will they go perhaps to finish the smaller quest or will they continue the zone story let's find out shall we oh what was that oh that was a crazy sound this is person summoned a couple of bears yes. there are huh, there are wild and crazy 
women running around and they're off. They were wild. Did you see them? They were like animals. They came from the deepest, darkest reaches and they came out and they threw down their, 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 whatever you call it. And they growled. Did you hear them growl? And they growled at Al Melexia like they were going to bite her. And then they went running off. That oh, way. I didn't notice. Maybe I should have killed those bears. They weren't bears. They were two short-haired women. Oh. Dark hairs. Dark haired. Oh, well, maybe I should have killed those women. Well, my friends, I personally think we should get rid of this little Alma Lexia thing. I mean, uh, we should go to talk to Mama Arlasi. I've even forgotten what that's about. We we found some eggs and a boy slain in in a yeah, lethal quarrel of mine. He went there he was to, going find to feed his mother. Mm -hmm. Oh. Was quite well, what tragic. Say you? It was so very young. tragic. He must have only been a hundred or so. Who is this? Chauncey, you've gone invisible. All I see is a beating heart. Oh yes, that is uh, my little ability. It helps me recover. And in this case, it let me dry off all that crazy river water. <laughs> oh? Well, what do you think? Should we go there? I think it's a good there idea for the night? to say the sad news to Let's the lady and be on our way. That sounds fine to me. I remember this pretty well because it seems strange to me to be like, Hello, your son is dead. Here are some eggs. But, that's what but she's been waiting, waiting. How long has she been waiting now? A long time now. At least now. three weeks. At least mm -hmm. three weeks she's been waiting. I, I, I would feel tragically horrible if we rode off in the opposite direction and didn't drop in for some tea and scrumpets, a little jam, maybe some butter, maybe some Devonshire cream, and uh, give her the bad news and then be on our way. Read us and then we'll tell us. Read us and we'll tell you that your child is dead. There's something yeah, yeah. <laughs> So we will be the right only ones that. with an appetite after the meal. Perhaps we should eat first and then tell. I think we'll, <laughs> we'll... Yes, we say, we have news for you. Oh, we went on the road traveling. She'll say, oh, you poor things. Let Stranger, me feed you. May we speak. Let me give you something to drink. Let me let you take... Sit back, lift your feet up off the off the floor. Put it on this table here or on that cushion. Goodbye, Just relax. This sounds what? like a nice person to give well, us uh, hey, food and put your feet up. Thanks, thank you for telling me I'm a scale back. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna think of something good to tell you next time. Next Before time you. I hear your voice. Before you go, H H Key, are you a uh, good? Now you, would you happen to be a Dunmer? Oh, what are you? Just some. Oblivion Denison. Yes, what are you? Are you a a good witch or a bad witch? A good witch. <laughs> or a sandwich. Those are my favorite type. Oh? Or a oh. sandwich. Perhaps it'd be easier to go around the other way. I think so. We can go ahead and mount up. Oh, we can? Thank yes, you. Sir. <laughs> <laughs> Watch out for the house, Drez. Yeah. Oh my goodness. It's... Oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> I'm being attacked. The dress, famously. Yeah. I'm going in, so I suppose they would. Uh, I didn't think 
I was going to survive that. Alright, I guess we can get back on our pony. Although mine's not a pony, mine's a cute little guar. It appears you are both on guar. We are! We're being no, very true. Uh, mine's not quite a guar. This is a... Uh, a just... <gasps> Lore book, lore book, right there. You oh, see it? Oh, let us a werewolf's confession. This is what he has to say. Oh, nice and good things. Oh, oh this like sounds fun. This is a good book. This good. This is a very good book. Yes. All right. Do you think werewolves enjoy chewy toys? Chewy toys? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Perhaps you get them and keeps them busy. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, here we go. Here she oh, is. Here. Oh, she is living in squalor she... in this tent. Oh, she is. Hello, hello, hello. I lift my paw in greeting Mama Eralasi. My darling son's gone off on some fool errand. I hope he returns in one piece. Oh, could we? We've been riding for so long. We have news for you. We've we've been on the road. We're dusty. We're parched. Oh, I grab my stomach because it aches. I wait. I wait. I don't think I wait she for has much. After all, they were, probably, mm. they were probably starving mm. if they went into that just to get a few eggs. Oh, all right. Your son died collecting these Kwama eggs oh, for you. No. He was such a good son. Always thinking we are not of his yoking. mother. Why yoking. did he have no. to go and do Stop such a around. stupid thing? Thanks for bringing oh. these to me. I'll make an omelette in his memory. Oh, it will be salted don't. with my tears and peppered by my grief. Hey. Thanks for the chef's apron and the coin. I appreciate that. I'm a, I'm a rather good cook myself. Well. Well. I guess. As all good legends, I don't know that we should be able to rest here for the night. <laughs> We can always go back to town. Yeah. I think we should. It is a smart idea. But the weather is good and the sun is shining. Let's go. Bye. Take care. I'll lead her Zane. Adieu. To you. And you. And you. And you. And you too. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I have a parched throat. Oh, I must get you something from the inn. Oh. By the way, I wanted to let you know, this is an aguar. It's a, a dill that has decided to serve Lord Vivek. Mm. Looks like aguar to this one. No, it uh, is. But the it's horns got... and the teeth. Oh, yes, I They're similar, it is. but... Okay, so this seal took a guar into his laboratory and did some experiments on it, and he got a little bit of a, what's called a mutated guar there. It's no. at its heart. At its no, heart, no, no. it's a guar. It looks like at a guar its... with an overbite. I mean, look at the hem and it's a guar. I know <laughs> it. Adils are very common on Vardenfell. You wow. should have seen the tills before. You would have to point them out the next time we are passing them in the wild. Yes. Very well, I will. Look at this beast. Now that. Now that. That is Ooh. impressive. That. Wow. Wow, did you see that? After that was month. a spriggan. An iridescent. I gotta get up to it again. An iridescent blue spriggan with the fantastic why does it keep running from me i'm not gonna hurry come back here 
An iridescent spriggan? Fantastic! Wow! I want one of those. I want one of those. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? I must finish. Disappeared on us. Well, I'm not sure where it went. Well, look at this right here. Wow! Look at this. Do you see this? Wow! Wow! Ooh, very nice armor set. Beautiful, gorgeous, simply fantastic. Wow! What an admiration. I flinch my tail in honor of you. Very nice. Yes, indeed. Very nice. Oh. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's see who else is up here. We got a purple cat. No, what the heck is this? Oh, how did they get their shiny? Oh, here! Oh, 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 here it is! Here it is! You see it? I found that fluorescent yes, blue spriggan. A three-person walking around. Amazing. Oh, fantastic. 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 Fantastic! Oh, what a disturbing bone camel. Skeleton camel thing. I just let them know that I just featured them all. I hope that person saw, but maybe not. Maybe not. It appears you said that in our group chat. I, oh darn. I always have a tendency. Yes, I did. Well, shoot. Alright, it was for our eyes only. They will never know. They will never know. Look at this guy even. He looks pretty fantastic. Yeah. This guy right here all gold with the black. He's gone. He disappeared. He vanished without a trace. Very shy person. I was very shy. <gasps> Look at this person right here. Today I am seeing people like I've never seen before. Fantastic beans. Fantastic. Oh, look at this one. He's cute <laughs> in an ugly sort of way. <laughs> this orc rivals no other orc warrior. Well. Indeed. It's been quite a day. I suppose... Today's saga has come to a close. Well, everyone, guess what? It's me, Flower Child 567, and uh, my two wonderful companions here. To my left, Malice Inderil. Greetings. Uh, and goodbye. To my right. John C. Lorenzo. Indeed. Yeah. Very nice. And we are the Ebonheart Pack Roleplay Theater. We're saying thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us this week. Next week we continue our Mournhold Deshaun Saga adventures. So return, stay tuned, and uh, yeah, that's about it. Bye. Laters.
Have a good one.